Hey guys, I'm Jimmy Fee here with another Striper Migration Report today for April 14th, 2023. Let's start down in the Chesapeake Bay where last week we had a couple warm days, got the water temperature in some of the Middle Bay tributaries up to that magic 60 degree mark. According to the Maryland DNR, there was a major spawning event that happened last week in some of the tributaries of the Middle Chesapeake Bay. Now, they don't think there's been any spawning yet in the Upper Bay tributaries, specifically the Susquehanna and the Susquehanna Flats, which is another major uh, striped bass spawning area. So while it's great to hear about those striped bass spawning, it's important to remember that they are off limits right now for fishing in the Chesapeake Bay. The Maryland DNR makes sure they protect those striped bass while they're spawning. So those fish have to be left alone by recreational anglers while they uh, do their thing and make the little stripers for us to catch for years and years to come. Moving up the coast away, where striper fishing is still in play, we had some good reports from the Cape May and Delaware Bay area this week. Actually, all of South Jersey was pretty good. It seems to be mainly a bait bite uh, with some smaller fish in the backwaters. They are taking soft plastics, but clams and bloodworms seem to be the best bet to hook a fish from that 30-inch size and up. And there were fish reported to 40 inches caught from some of the Delaware Bay beaches this past week. Now, those fish are probably headed toward the Delaware River, where I know there are already good numbers of spawning size striped bass in there. And I know that because I hooked a couple of them last week while I was shad fishing in the Delaware River with my friend Joe Cermelli. We had some shad darts and flutter spoons out, and all of a sudden one of the rods doubled over, drag was ripping out, and you know, it was a lot of question what we were actually fighting. And then finally we saw those beautiful seven stripes come up, about a slot size striped bass uh, that to eight a tiny, tiny one and a half inch flutter spoon. So that was really kind of a cool catch for me. Great way to start off my, uh, I guess it was my first migratory striper of the year. So that, that was a cool kickoff for me. That fish, just like any striped bass in the Delaware River was released and has to be released for the next couple months because Delaware is another spawning area. Although I haven't heard anything about spawning activity happening in the Delaware River, but Based on the reports and some of the stripers we saw as we continued to uh, float down the Delaware that day, there's some big ones in there, fish up to 40 inches, still full of eggs. So if you do hook any of them in the Delaware, make sure you take good care of them, unhook them, get them back in the water quickly, and make sure they can do their thing. Now, in New Jersey, we're starting to hear of more and more striped bass coming on the ocean side. Most of those fish have been small, short fish taken on bait, and that bait this time of year is almost always clams. Now you'll switch over to chunks, cut bunker, as soon as you get to, you know, usually May, when you see those post-spawn Chesapeake migrators come up, that's when you'll be fishing the chunk bunker on the Ocean County and Monmouth County Oceanside beaches. But right now it's mainly a clam bite and guys are catching, you know, fish maybe up to the low slot size. But there was at least one big fish this week reported by Grumpy's Tackle in Seaside Park. One lucky angler was throwing a swim shad into the surf and hooked a 40-inch fish off the ocean beaches. That's one of the biggest surf side fish we've heard of so far. Moving up the New Jersey coastline a little bit to Monmouth County, they are still seeing some bass in the surf, mostly small ones, still on clams, but the big report, as it has been since mid-March, is the Raritan Bay. Now, according to Mike Gleason, attack Waterman in Long Branch, they're seeing a wave of larger fish move into the Raritan this week, and we heard reports of both quality and quantity. Jim Root, who is a pro staffer for uh, the apparel company Stormar, wrote in and said he caught, he and his group caught over 100 striped bass in one trip this week, fish up to and exceeding 40 inches. Now, when this bite first got started, it was mainly paddle tails, you know, those big paddle tails, no live bait needed, swim shads from various uh, companies. That was the hot bite. Now, as the water warms up a little bit, those fish are starting to take some bigger offerings. Metal lip swimmers, guys are having luck with live bunker, and they're doing a little bit better with chunked bunker than live bunker, at least according to uh, some of the reports we've heard. And you kind of see that this time of year where the bass, the water's still, still a little bit chilly. Not, it's not cold by any means. The fish are plenty active, plenty aggressive but still a little bit more likely to, to scrounge up a chunk that's sitting on the bottom than chase down a frisky live bunker that's uh, sitting at the surface. So while it seemed like we might have had an early start to the spring run this year, I think with a colder March, now we're catching up with some much warm, uh, warmer summer-like temperatures here in April, I think this spring run is proceeding pretty much right on time. I mean, the fish are going to go at their own pace anyhow, but we are seeing tons of bait in New Jersey. And as Matt Hefner is going to cover, we are seeing so much bait all the way up the coast, even where we haven't seen the migratory stripers yet around the on the water office here in Falmouth on Cape Cod. 
it is loaded with bait. I was just out the other night in some of the harbors around my house, and they just seem like you could not fit another bunker in there. So when the water warms up, when those fish finish spawning in the Chesapeake, and when they reach New England and find some of these big concentrations of bait, I think things are going to blow wide open. But to take this striper migration report up the rest of the coast of Maine, I'm going to kick it over to our assistant editor, Matt Hefner. All right, so I know Jimmy just covered the Raritan Bay pretty well, talking about the chunk bite that's going on right now. I know that report actually came from uh, Adrian, Captain Adrian Moeller at uh, Rockfish Charters. He has recently taken over the operation for Rich Colombo, and it's a, it's a great boat, man. They're, they're on the fish right now. They're uh, really taking advantage of that chunking bite that's going on in the Raritan Bay um, with the influx of bunker in there. Sounds like there's a whole new body of uh, migratory fish as well that are probably going to be pushing up the Hudson, if not out to eastern Long Island in the next few days uh, over the next coming week. Now, because of all those big bunker in Raritan Bay, we're not just experiencing a chunk bite. There's also a uh, great top water bite on nine inch docks. We got that report from Paulie at BPM Fishing. Uh, he and his buddy Mike have been out and they've been crushing fish this past week on top water uh, up to 45 pounds. So it's great to know that there's fresh migratory fish with sea lice in that class heading up the coast. Um, it's also great to know that uh, they're heading up the Hudson River to spawn as well. So I got a report from Mr. Poseidon this past week. He's fishing just north of the George Washington Bridge. A lot of the action up there right now is uh, is actually on bloodworms. And most of the reason that bloodworms are so successful in the Hudson this time of year is not only because the water is very clouded, uh, but it's also because those bass are heading up river and they're basically just nosing around on the mud flats. So they're going to be a lot more likely to pick up a bait that's just sitting there waiting to be eaten rather than something that's swimming like a full-size bunker. But bunker is not the only bait that's been flooding into New York waters this week. We've gotten great reports of a lot of herring in the back bays um, everywhere from Jamaica Bay east, uh, especially out on the east end of Long Island. So right now it's still mostly holdover fish on the east end of Long Island, although because of all the bait in the water, including bunker, spearing, and more recently a ton of herring, there's going to be plenty of activity there in the weeks to come. As of right now, most of the activity is taking place in the west end back bays. Uh, there is a good daytime bite. With those herring around, there's been some uh, big fish reported down in the Long Beach area in the backwaters. Um, some good fish up to 20 and 30 pounds actually landed. We've gotten reports from Jamaica Bay from Captain Vinny of Caranan Charters as well. He said that there's tons of bunker in the backwaters right now. And Vinny said big top waters are working when the fish are pressed up close to the surface. But otherwise, it's been flutter spoons and a live bait bite that have really been uh, taking most of the fish this week. Remember, it's still catch and release until Saturday the 15th. So if you're watching this on Saturday... Go enjoy striper season in New York. It sounds like some of those fish might have made their way out past Long Island already. Earlier this week, Dustin Stevens of Rhode Island Kayak Fishing caught his first migratory striper of the year. Now, there were very few lice on the fish, so it's a question as to whether or not this fish was truly migratory. But what we do know is that sea lice are usually an indicator that those fish have uh, been migrating up the coast. Dustin has been catching holdovers for most of the winter. But now that the migratory fish are here, the fishing's really going to kick up a notch. Last week, we had rumors of squid trickling into Rhode Island waters. And now we have actual sightings of squid in the Cape Cod area. Sportsport Bait and Tackle in Hyannis actually reported that there were some squid pods in the harbor earlier this week. So with uh, the squid around, the squid hounds are going to be following very closely. Earlier this week, I was down on one of our local beaches in the Nantucket Sound, Vineyard Sound. Not really sure where either of those start or end. So I'm going to say Nantucket Sound. <laughs> Um, but I was out in Nantucket Sound. Off in the distance, I noticed a cloud of birds diving on bait. So I started sprinting down the beach. And uh, what it turned out to be was a massive school of herring fighting against the ebb tide. And again, it's just going to work on them. Um, you can find that footage on the Odd in the Water Instagram. And even though it didn't seem like there were any migratory bass underneath those herring, the stage is set for the striper season to kick off in Cape Cod. If that's not convincing enough for you... We got reports from my buddy Stavros Viglas. Stavros took video this week of some seemingly endless pods of bunker swimming around one of the harbors out on Martha's Vineyard. Now, between the bunker, the herring, and the squid, and some of the spearing I'm starting to see in our backwaters when I go out fishing at night, there is more than enough bait around for these stripers to stick around for some time. Now, just a little further up north past the Cape, holdover activity is also heating up, particularly in Boston Harbor. A lot of the bait up there that's making the fish active is also going to be herring right now. So be magic swimmers, no live bait needed paddle tail swim shads, and a couple small to mid-sized swimming plugs are a smart thing to keep on hand when you're fishing the rivers and the backwaters around Boston. But anglers north of Cape Cod will have to be very patient. We have yet to receive word of the first migratory stripers on Cape Cod or Martha's Vineyard. I'm anticipating that that's going to happen by the end of the weekend. We'll see our first migrators either caught out on the vineyard in the surf, or they'll be caught somewhere in the Vineyard Sound or Buzzards Bay making their way for the now. 
until that happens, we're just going to have to be patient. But it can't hurt to get out there and make a couple casts. With, with birds diving on all sorts of bait around Cape Cod right now, it's a great time to head down to the beach, take advantage of the warm, sunny weather, and take a couple casts. Low light hours will probably be the best bet, meaning the end of the day and early in the morning. And if you're like me, you'll probably start targeting those nighttime windows and tides with a little bit more zell than you have the past couple weeks. By this time next week, I hope to have a couple pictures of uh, stripers myself for you guys. So this weekend, New York, enjoy your striper season opener. Everybody stay safe out there on the water. Remember, follow us on social media. We want to hear from you. So send us your striper fishing reports. Remember to sign up for Striper Cup if you haven't done so already. And thanks for watching another striper migration report with On the Water.